Just make sure this thing is, is working here. Um, because we should be live. All right. I'll give a few minutes for people to get in. Um, Nintendo has dropped a Nintendo Direct Mini. No announcement or pre-announcement for it. Uh, literally just dropped out of nowhere. Very weird they didn't announce it. Um, you can see what some of the updates are already if you go to the nintendo direct website uh you will see what some of the announcements are there are a couple announcements that appear to be hidden that you need to watch the video for all that jazz doesn't really matter uh what matters is we do have a semi sort of nintendo direct today uh and we are going to watch it together for the first time uh, some of you guys might have already seen it or started it it got uploaded by nintendo about 10 11 12 minutes ago um so you probably couldn't make through all of it because it's a half hour long. So it's a pretty decent length for a mini. Uh, full directs have been shorter before. We've had 20-minute full directs. So I'm expecting uh, a lot of stuff packed in this. I have no idea. I haven't seen it. We're just going to watch it and see what happens. Um, yeah. So let's just watch it here. We got 27 people in. Let's just get this bad boy going. Oh, I'm going to pause this quick. Please note, due to COVID-19, release dates and other information presented in this video is subject to change for potential updates. Please check the official. Okay. All right. So basically they're saying because of COVID-19, you never know what's going to happen. All right. Yeah, they, didn't, they did not pre-announce this on the day. They just dropped it. Here we go. Here we go. Long ago, two great Chronicles. titans came into existence. Chronicles? The Bionis and the Maconis. The titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. In the sky! This can't yeah. be! No way! No it's way. a. Mechon! Commence the assault on Bionis! The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just. unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! <laughs> There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. The future I see. It isn't set. Melia! So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Mekon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. Five twenty nine twenty. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Future connected. Future connected. Okay. Is there some new content in this? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. Is there new content? I thought you'd want to go. I think they added some new 
content. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. It looks way better than it used to be back on Wii. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. And a new epilogue, a new story. Yeah. Future Connected will cap off the main game. So it. if you've played and loved the it. original game, new you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. Heck we'll yeah. probably be needing this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive, Definitive Edition, Edition launches on May 29th and you can awesome. pre-purchase the game starting today. Also, coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works oh. set will pack hey. in a 250-page art book. Let me fix my green screen picture. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. There we go, 2K. Ho oh, ho. Bioshock Infinite. I'd recognize Bioshock Infinite. Legendary Collection. Heck yeah. Eric will be excited about Borderlands. That's for sure. Eric loves Borderlands. Borderlands. XCOM 2. Heck yeah. I had a feeling that's time. Old enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. Alright. You so called heroes have filled this world too many times. You are no match for Doom's power. Fantastic Four. Richards. It's clobbering time! Talk about yeah, a hot pursuit! For those that haven't played Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, it is so good. We're not going down without a fight! This might be the best Ultimate Alliance We I have know. a universe to save. Some people really love the first one. Thanks for the self screen gamer. You are wasting your time, fools! Doom always prevails! Doom must become a god himself! In the darkest depths of the ocean oh. lies a really fun game! Yes. You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, just, craft items, and dive deeper into nice, the abyss. It's just a nice relaxing game. No, As you explore like increasingly across. hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shin Sekai's Time Attack Mode Another Dive boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, 
so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Live your best deserted island life thanks to this free, free update. update Enjoying the island update. life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on the island or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? <laughs> you see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Can you hunt down the egg's zipper head everywhere? Nice. And hide egg. Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. Heck yeah. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, this time from April 1st to April 12th, so be sure to participate. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Earth of course, We'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official really, Animal Crossing really Twitter account and Animal other Crossing channels too. So stay tuned. Years. It's been consuming my life. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Hey look, someone's hiring. Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain a comfortable work environment. They're trusting you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Uh-oh, that projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job done. Hopefully All you're right. ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Like a fun game. Because Good Job launches today. Available now. Good job. Catherine, full body, the mature action adventure puzzler, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Switch. Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine, Catherine with a C, and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. Pump up the audio. Here we go. Music game. Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Heck yeah. Just go full just the answer this bad boy. On top of that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> what? I feel my power returning. Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely All right. done. I did not expect the voice change. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, 
can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Woohoo! Another today. Better open the gates, oh. one treasured TRPG approaches. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. All right. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. So the this time, the, first the graphics are more realistic. Deep. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. King's Bounty 2. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Ooh. News approaches. They're not gonna unveil a character, are they? The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Are they are gonna do fighter? Arms. Joining the battle yes. from arms. Springman. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit they're not, they're longer. Tell you which one it is, the next though. fighter will be announced and released this June. They're not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> it's just a for arms. It's got to be Springman. Springman and Ribbon Girl. Don't miss this arms game trial. Well, I knew an arms character would have A free game trial of arms will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. Free game These trial, elite fighting superstars right share now. one thing in common. So extendable arms. arms. So equip super-powered arms to create We're a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Feeling good? Well, all right. Then how about we take a Yo, nice long Nintendo. look at Bravely Default 2. It's probably gonna be, I assume, Spring Man. Uh, where, where am I? Can't believe I survived. Default to? Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The great stone's power exceeds the hand of man. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Don't swear the details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. <laughs> the first one was really good, so that's that has me excited. This me tale excited. unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book, Elvis Great. and Adele. I have a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. Oh, I love the I'm accent. just here because he hired me. Love it. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the empire. 
During battle, you must decide when to use Brave Points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose Default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. Now for a little announcement. A demo version of the game will launch today. Nice. And in the near future, we'll conduct a survey thing. to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. We hope you'll participate. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. Tabletop classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Hare and Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richi Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew, that really is 51 games. Wow. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th, pre-purchase begins today. Will the yes. real master ninja please stand yes, up? Yes, Ninjala. Here we go. Now I'm hyped. Oh, so oh, you're hyped. the ultimate ninja, are you? Oh, well Ninjala. Well then, prove it in battle. God, it's been like two As years one of eight, eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Oh, Sprint across stages. Wish I was wearing my and Ninjala show off your right gum ninjutsu oh, like only you can. Oh, when's this By out? chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself and wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo yo's, your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four on four team battles that prove ninjas are most yeah. clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. May 27th. And hey, it's free to play oh, too. So oh, it's free to play. Oh, I'm Check hyped. out what you can play I'm on dude, Nintendo Ninjala Switch. Is legit, guys. I played it Enter Luke years Skywalker's ago. Jedi Academy to the learn the ways Splatoon. of the Force. I'm not kidding. Customize your look, Yo, play a role in this Star Wars story, 
and battle online with up to 16 players. Huh. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Added Switch today. Cool. And get today. ready to strap in because Pod Star Racer. Wars Episode One Racer <laughs> is coming soon. Yeah. In this Pod remade Racer. dragon riding classic, you'll pilot the blue dragon through incredible landscapes, battling giant creatures and lethal battleships. Using 360 degree controls and lock on target. Right it's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as Dude, a timed console Corey, exclusive Ninjala today. Can have all my money, I don't even care. The game is so good. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. Here we go. Now for the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. All right. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Gala region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part 1, the Isle of Armor. The Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a oh, dojo, dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers gather to master their oh. skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon... Kubfu from the master, Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn single strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn rapid strike style. Dark or water, the choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner better. Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger Dude, than like Dynamax drum. moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. All right. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. 
starting today during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Heck yeah! Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. That's Pokemon. all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. switch up the views here all right so that folks was the Nintendo Direct today so first off I owe venture beat an apology I kind of put them on blast on Twitter yesterday when a direct wasn't announced and we got a direct so hey venture beat congrats you were correct we got a uh, Nintendo Direct this week, and we had an indie thing last week, So, uh, and you were right on the day of the Nintendo Direct. It was a Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, it was literally sneak attack. It was just dropped on us out of nowhere without warning because Nintendo, because reasons. Um, it's <laughs> quite, um, quite amazing to think about, really, that Nintendo decided to do it like this. And I think... I can come up with two reasons why Nintendo did it this way. Um, it's it's basically twofold here, right? So we got uh, thank you so much, Corey, by the way, for your five dollar Canadian super chat. Um, I'll I'll recap you here in a second, um, and uh, I can't do a shot right now. My children are present, but uh, I'll play I'll play the song for you because uh, it go through my headphones, so they won't hear it. Um, the big thing that I, I kind of want to get into with this idea of why Nintendo did this is one, it was a mini. So that means we weren't going to expect any big announcements. You're not going to hear Breath of the Wild 2 or any of that stuff here. No Metro Prime 4. That kind of stuff would be safe for a much bigger general direct, which now I'm pretty sure this is it until June. I'd be shocked if we get anything else until June. Um, two, uh, Nintendo didn't, knew that the hype for the next direct would be absolutely insane so if they were to even announce yesterday hey we're dropping a nintendo direct mini tomorrow people would have got so hyped and extremely disappointed and if you read the, the the live chat reaction to this you'll see that there are people already disappointed with what this nintendo direct mini was it would have been worse if people built up hype for an announced nintendo direct mini so Nintendo kind of did a, a two-fold thing here where they wanted to get these announcements out because all these games are basically coming um, by June. They didn't really announce anything past June. Um, and they wanted to not have people get overhyped and, and disappointed. Um, so they wanted to give us something, but they didn't want to upset us. So they thought that a surprise drop like this is probably the best thing they could do. They could have obviously just foregone an Nintendo Drive Mini did this all through like a social media twitter direct or something and just flooded us with news that way but uh to be honest we probably deserved as fans at least a little reprieve and a nintendo direct mini uh so uh pretty excited about that as for a recap um one second here let me let me i, I didn't take any notes during this because it's already uh th this this just dropped out of nowhere so i, I just don't have any notes on it uh, but i do have a breakdown here on nintendo's website um so they announced um, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition Remaster. They announced that there's going to be um, new content in that as well. Um, we're getting, um, I'm sorry, we're getting uh, three games from 2K. We're getting Bioshock Infinite. Uh, we're getting the um, Borderlands Collection and XCOM 2. Um, we're going to be getting, uh, obviously, uh, they, they showed off Bravely Default 2 as well. Um, they did like this multi-game pack of 51 games of, of like solitaire checkers chinese go all these like 51 games like board game kind of things from across the world um obviously they talked about the pokemon sword and shield stuff at the end um they talked about the uh update 
that came to Animal Crossing day one, and obviously things that are going to be happening in April and Animal Crossing for Easter and all that. Uh, they talked about um, some, it looks like an indie game. They talked about like this job indie game. I don't know. You'll have to go back and rewatch if you want more information on that. Uh, they talked about an update to Ring Fit Adventure as a female voice, add some new mini games, including a uh, song thing that has music from Super Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, etc., um, to increase your workouts. They talked about um, uh, the new DLC for Marvel, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, adding the Fantastic Four in and, and a whole new storyline for that. Um, they talked about how talked about Ninjala, and we finally have a release date, 27th of March or May. I think it's 27th of May. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about that um, because Ninjala, Ninjala, Ninjala. I've been hyping up Ninjala for two years on this channel, so you know I'm pumped for that. Um, we got, uh, I think, King Something 2. It's a tactical RPG. Uh, I'm, I forgive myself if I if I mispronounce that. We're going to obviously talk about Catherine Full Body. King's Bounty 2. I'm sorry, is what it, what it was. Um, they talked about uh, Shinsenkai Into the Deeps from Capcom. Um, yeah, oh, ARMS. There's going to be an ARMS fighter uh, coming in June uh, to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but they didn't tell us which fighter. They just put all the fighters on the screen, but they wouldn't tell us which fighter it is. I just said it's coming in June. They also noted at the very beginning of the thing that, uh, you know, because of COVID-19, they literally said it, you know, in the text that uh, all of these dates and everything they're announcing are subject to change. So all these dates are what they are right now, but everything could get pushed back. It all depends on, on how the worldwide pandemic goes. Um, but yeah, oh, they added an ARMS game trial as well for people that are presumably coming um, the week before the ARMS character lands and then during the week of the ARMS character landing. So it looks like we're probably going to get the update to Smash at the beginning of June, it looked like to me, uh, based on the date of the game trial, because it would make sense to hype up arms the game at the same time you release a character in the game from arms um so that's really exciting and I, and I talked a while ago i expected an arms character to be added in the second dlc pass and i think this also confirms arms 2 is going to be coming that wasn't announced but that's kind of the recap of everything that that happened um let me play let me play that song for you Corey. Uh, and we're, we're going to kind of leave this short like this because this just this came out of nowhere. It came out of left field. Obviously, we have a lot to talk about on the Nintendo Prime podcast tonight. Um, so that's something to, to look forward to. At 9 p.m. tonight, we'll be live streaming. Um, there'll be a bunch of us getting together talking about this direct. We'll be talking about our experience in Animal Crossing so far. Uh, we, just, we have a lot to talk about. Uh, so um, we'll see. I might even extend the podcast by a half hour. I'm not sure yet, but... Um, look forward to that. Let me play this song as requested by Corey for that super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, turn down the music here. Oh. Down. Um, oh, that, that Ninjala news, man. That Ninjala news made the entire thing for me. I'm so pumped. You guys have no idea how addicting Ninjala is. If you didn't play it at E3 two years ago, oh my god. So addicting. Furukawa is a terrible CEO, such a joke. Because you didn't get a big, massive direct in the middle of a pandemic. Literally at the very beginning of this thing, they addressed the pandemic, which clearly means COVID-19 has been affecting everything. Are we, are we, are we that unreasonable? as people Take more cock, horse cock, shut the door and turn the lock. Is your cock a horse cock? You will Sorry, it got my kids. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think you can call Fur, Furukawa a, a joke. They, uh, We have to be reasonable as people. This pandemic's affecting everyone and everything and every business. I mean, I go out and get a gallon of gas now and it's almost under a dollar. Like the oil industry is crashing. It's... I'm, I'm not that, like, I am grateful because 
coming into today, coming into today, we did not think we were getting anything. I, th I think this is where I'm coming from and why I'm giving Nintendo a pass for maybe a lackluster Direct Mini, which to me it had Ninjala, so automatically it's the best Nintendo Direct Mini of all time, in my opinion. Um, but the thing is, I mean, not, it's not really the best, but I, that's how hyped I am for that game. Um, I, oh, my, my mic was muted on purpose because I was dealing with my kids. <laughs> Anyways, the, the point is that I'm going to give Nintendo a pass. Um, for because we came into the day expecting nothing, so now we're supposed to be mad that we got something and it's not what you wanted to to hear. Yeah, you didn't get your Breath of the Wild news. You didn't get your Metro Prime news. You didn't get your you know next Mario game news or or Mario Kart Nine or whatever you might have been expecting. But again, they gave us what we're getting through June, um, and that's all we need to know. We just need to know what do we have to play after Animal Crossing until the next big direct, uh, and we know they're going to do some sort of digital event because they already announced it in june around the time of e3 so we just gotta wait we just gotta be patient for the big announcements there's a worldwide pandemic going on let's be understanding let's be um maybe not as critical this time around as we normally would be because we came into the day expecting nothing and because so, we got something and it's not what you want to hear about we should be upset mm. you know like robot overlooks this direct was hot garbage and that's fine if you think that i just just because it, why was it hot garbage because you didn't hear about the games you want to hear about i heard about ninjala so i'm good like i've been waiting to hear about ninjala for two years so i'm great and i have a release date and they showed off new features i am pumped you have no idea this is splatoon for me that's how hyped this game is i'm gonna be playing the hell out of this game until you guys are sick of me playing it on live streams because ninjala man whoo and it's free to play so everyone should be playing it anyways that's all I really got to say. I'm going to let you guys go uh, because I am watching all three of my kids right now. Um, but, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. We will be starting a new giveaway, by the way, on April 1st. So stay tuned for that as I figure out what I'm going to be giving away. It will be a game, of course. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if I'm giving away one or two copies. I'm not sure what game it is. Maybe I'll find a way to do multiple giveaways and some indie games and some bigger games. I'm not sure yet, uh, but we'll, we'll get it all sorted out. Uh, thank you uh, so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo RoboJance from Nintendo Prime. I'll have more thoughts on this Nintendo Direct and more later today. If you check out our, the Nintendo Prime podcast at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight, it will be live. You'll have me, you'll have Eric, you'll have 5J. I believe Darren's going to be back on, and I might be getting a fifth guest on. I'm, I'm in the works on that as well. Uh, so just stay tuned. we got a lot to talk about on this channel. Maybe I'll even do um, a standalone video later today on some other news. Um, I don't know yet. I got a lot swimming in my mind. My, my, my mind is just exploding off this direct. So, um, Mark Greenberg chiming in. How's it going, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I completely disagree. Normally I agree. We shouldn't expect much out of directs, but we haven't had one in five months. I expect something new. Uh, I expect some new announcement or something. There were new announcements in this. They just weren't the announcements you wanted to hear, Mark. That's all I can really say to you. There just wasn't the new announcements you wanted to hear but there were new announcements um the way nintendo did this they didn't hype it up they didn't announce it they just shadow dropped it and called it a mini and called it a day i don't know i just dis i disagree with you um there is a worldwide pandemic going on if there's ever a time to be understanding and forgiving we are literally dealing with an unprecedented situation that's never happened in my lifetime we've had sars we've had bird flu we've had all this stuff we've never seen what's happening right now happening so you gotta you gotta be understanding guys i'm sure nintendo wanted to queue up a bunch of other stuff but you know what development's probably delayed on a lot of major games they've already seen a bunch of major games announce that there is development delays so we need to be understanding if you can't be understanding at a time like this then when can you be understanding is it going to take miyamoto dying it's like miyamoto have to die and so all of Nintendo goes on pause for like a month to mourn his mourn his death, and then we'll be understanding. Like, what what is it going to take to be understanding that there is a worldwide pandemic happening, and everything's delayed, including big announcements? Just be happy we have Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's all I'm going to say. I'm surprised that wasn't delayed. To be completely honest, thankfully that game was mostly done development last year. So, all right, thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you guys later. Tune in for the podcast tonight. Uh, peace out.